since August, the district has been studying capacity in each one of our schools, and it came to fruition in what we are calling the optimization of utilization plan, basically pointing out where we had available seats, where we had way too many seats to be wise stewards of taxpayer money. So in effect, the Board of Education decided to close Lincoln and Bates Elementary Schools and repurpose Wasson High School. The rezoning process has been finalized in District 11. Obviously, whenever you talk about boundaries, people get a little bit nervous, but because Colorado is what's called a choice state, you have the option to choice your student into any school you wish as long as there's capacity. If their boundary has changed and they were used to going to one particular school and, and say they're a sophomore and they're going to be a junior next year, they'll still be able to attend that school. The newly drawn lines were a collaborative effort between school board members and the community. We really did listen to everything that people were telling us. We had a rating system, uh, so we were able to weigh all of the options out there, all of the feedback that we were getting from each of the public meetings. The boundaries just are more or less for our transportation purposes, but they're also to help people in those neighborhoods that want to attend their neighborhood school. What we wanted to do was give some more clear-cut definition to the boundary lines. But students and parents aren't the only ones paying attention. Teachers are also greatly impacted. We are doing um, everything possible right now to work with teachers and to get them into the open slots right now. Uh, we do have several job fairs that are taking place, several resume writing workshops that are taking place right now, all hosted by the district. And uh, we're working with people on a case-by-case -case basis, so obviously that's going to take some time to filter out and see what's going to have to happen. New changes and a positive outlook for the fall of 2013. We look forward to welcoming back um, all of our students next year and giving them every opportunity available in this district. John Martin, Fox 21 News.